with an emphasis on novel human robot operations, Harvest Moon will test new technologies and make new scientific discoveries that will pave the way for future human settlement of the Moon and later Mars. The Harvest mission has three major aims. Harvest's main mission will consist of a rover and plant growth chamber system that will be deployed to the South Pole on the lunar far side to investigate plant growth in partial gravity. The second aim is to demonstrate and qualify new technologies to enable future human and robotic exploration, such as in-situ construction or extraction of volatiles from shadowed areas. The third aim is to use the rover as a platform for international cooperation. One of the key successes of the International Space Station has been the international cooperation and the use of ISS for collaborative research with standardised racks. The Harvest mission will build on this model by opening up the use of the rover as a research platform to international partners when not required for the primary mission. The mission is split into three major stages, with one lander module deployed to the lunar surface per stage. All mission assets will be launched to the EML2 station in advance of the mission. The mission operations begin with the undocking of the first lander from the station and its landing near the lunar south pole. Then the rover starts work to prepare landing areas for the arrival of future landers. The rover will be teleoperated by astronauts who will then select suitable landing areas. The rover will then be used to center solid landing pads for future landers. This is a key technology demonstration of in situ construction and will help Harvest achieve its second aim. The second lander containing the Harvest plant growth chamber will then be deployed to the newly created Moon platform. The plant growth chamber houses tomato plants in removable containers. The astronauts monitor the chamber's internal environment by controlling sensors, a camera, and a tele operated arm. At various points during the plant growth, Samples will be manoeuvred into the airlock and the plant containers will then be sealed and frozen to maintain the samples for transportation. Astronauts will teleoperate the Harvest rover to remove sealed sample containers and placing them in the rover storage area. At the end of the growth cycle, all samples will be placed into the Ascent Module Sample Return Hold and are launched to the EML2 station for analysis. The third stage lander will be deployed containing resupply materials for the growth chamber. Astronauts will operate the rover to take these samples to the growth chamber system and replace the depleted containers. The internal arm of the chamber system will then manoeuvre the new seeds into position. Additionally, a tool bank will be included in the payload of the third lander. The tool bank includes a range of tools that the rover can use to extend its lifespan and add new mission options. The tool bank is a key aspect of the Harvest's third aim and gives the rover modularity for use by international partners for new investigations. Further landers could be planned to extend the mission or to utilise the area to build up more assets as the beginnings of an international moon village. Harvest will demonstrate a vital capability for future long-term space missions, the ability to grow crops for food. It is imperative to realise Harvest goals if humans are to spend long periods away from Earth. Harvest is the next giant leap for mankind.